Welcome to the ElfQuest Collector's Guide, showcasing a different collectible or unboxing video in every episode. I'm your pack leader for this hunt, Mandy Roncalli O'Meyer, or as I'm known around the ElfQuest web world as my elf self, Shadowfire. Today, we're going to be talking about art portfolio number one, kicking off a four-part series in which I will talk about each one of the art portfolios. Now, before I get to talking about this beautiful art portfolio, I'd like to apologize for a couple of small mistakes I made in my last unboxing video. Uh, it was for the Complete ElfQuest Volume 3 by Dark Horse Comics. And within my video, I was so excited and busy doing the unboxing that I didn't realize I was actually saying the storylines in reverse. It's actually Dreamtime that is in black and white, and Hidden Years that is in color. That can happen in unboxing videos, because there's no retakes for unboxing videos. If I mess up, it's permanent, it's in my video. So, really sorry about that, guys. I'll try to get a little bit more on top of it, and I'll try to re reduce those mistakes as much as I possibly can. I'm sorry, guys! Also, I'd like to apologize for there being a longer delay between my videos than I originally intended. Uh, last week, it was Thanksgiving here in the United States. Happy late Thanksgiving to all my United States viewers! Hi, guys! Uh, and then just before that, myself, my cubs, and my life mate all got sick with the flu. So all video making and working on got put on hold, and now we're all better. So we're back on schedule. We're trying to get those videos done. My hubby has slowly been working on a bloopers video, so hopefully I'll have another one of those out soon. But until then, Sorry for the delay, guys. I'm trying to get right back on track now. And last but not least, towards the end of this video, I will be explaining how my viewers can participate in my very first giveaway. So, make sure you watch the whole video, stay tuned, and I'll tell you more info about that towards the end. Alright guys, let's get talking about the art portfolio. Art portfolio number one was produced by Shanes and Shanes in 1980, and it contains six plates that measure 11 and a half inches by 15 inches. These suckers are huge! Printed in black and white on heavy matte paper, this portfolio was limited to only 1,500 copies. Alright guys, let's dive on in. Check these babies out. Plate 1 is titled The Lure and features Dewshine, Moonshade, and Nightfall, luring a human into a muddy grave. Also, on the very first plate of the portfolio is where you will find Wendy Peeney's signature as well as the number for your specific part portfolio. My portfolio number is number 114 out of 1500. So guys, I ended up with a really low number. I'm really happy about that. Plate number two is titled Blood of Ten Chiefs, and as the title implies, it shows the ten chiefs that came before Cutter. Can you name all the chiefs? I can. Of course, we've got Cutter, and we've got his Wolf Knight Runner. Then we have Bear Claw, Man Tricker, Good Tree, Tanner, Freefoot, Two Spear, Timorn, Huntress Skyfire, Ronnie She-Wolf, and Prey Pacer. Plate 3 is titled Troll King and features Guttlecraw sitting on his throne with an elven slave as his footstool. I don't know for sure, but that elven slave very well could be Equar. Plate 4 is titled Recognition and features Joyleaf and Bearclaw in the midst of just that recognizing each other. Now, if you don't know what part of the story this is from, it's actually from when Bearclaw and Joyleaf had been having a huge fight. Like, they hadn't talked for a long time. Joyleaf was just like, you are being a stubborn butthead, Bearclaw, and you know what? This relationship is over until you figure things out. And they just, they didn't talk. They fought for a long, long time. I believe it was supposed to be seasons, maybe even as much as a year. Um, and then they went out on a hunt, and normally Bearclaw would not allow others to go on a bear hunt with him, but Joyleaf went with him on this one. They hunted the bear, and just as they succeeded in killing it together, eyes met eyes, soul met soul, and they recognized. I kind of like that description. I kind of give myself chills. <laughs> I didn't even mean to. <laughs> Plate 5 is titled War Chiefdess, and features Kabi with a couple of other go-backs up in the frozen mountains. The sixth and final plate is titled Festival of Flood and Flower, and features Sava and the Sun Villagers celebrating the rains and the abundance of goods that comes with it. On the inside of the portfolio folder's cover, we have the information for the publication of the folders, as well as a printed spot where your number for your portfolio is. And then on the other side, we have a nice little artist portfolio about good old Wendy Peeney here. And I have to say, I think this is one of the most beautiful pictures of Wendy. Uh, I'll try to get it up close, but I just think that is just an absolutely gorgeous picture of her. 
I mean, when does Elf Mom not look gorgeous? But, you know, I gotta point out the really pretty ones, the really pretty pictures I like every once in a while. But honestly, Elf Mom looks good in just about any picture I've ever seen of her. So, you're gorgeous, Elf Mom, we love you! Alright, time for this episode's Q&A session. On Facebook, Amber P. asked, Do you think there will ever be a series of Elf Quest movies like Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings head movies? Well, Amber, I have mixed feelings on this subject. While I would absolutely love to see a movie made of that caliber with that kind of budget for ElfQuest, I also fear for the mistakes and storyline tidbits that would get left out. Holly Weird, as I like to call it, is really known for whenever they make a movie adaptation of a book to leave out a lot of important info and only put in the things they want. I think when we get an ElfQuest movie, none of us want that. We want everything we can possibly get out of an ElfQuest visual. So, my opinion is that ElfQuest is better suited for a TV series, maybe a mini-series, or possibly a series on Netflix, where they have the time to really stretch it out, tell every detail of the story, and leave nothing out. From what I can tell, TV shows and Netflix have got it down when it comes to book adaptations. So, that's my opinion on a movie. I would love to see a movie done at that caliber, but I fear for what Hollyweird would do to the story. So personally, I'd rather see it on TV as a miniseries or on Netflix because they'll have more time to work in all those little details that we want and need to see. Also on Facebook, Brandy H said, Ooh, I have a question. It came to me while reading your post about the family trip to the comic book store, which I love. I know your cubs are young, but have they started to collect any comics yet? I love this question, Brandy, and the answer is yes. I have two kids. I have a two-year-old son and a six-year-old daughter, and my six-year-old daughter has actually been looking through ElfQuest since she was about three. She saw my collection sitting out and started getting very intrigued by it, and so eventually I gave her a couple of her very own issues. So she does like to collect a few issues of ElfQuest. She also likes to go and get My Little Pony from the comic shops whenever we make the family trips. Now, admittedly, she does seem to like her My Little Pony comics more, but there have been times where I've gone to check on her in her room, and she'll be lounging on her bed with her ElfQuest comics all laid out in front of her, flipping through the pages. And I tell you, that just makes me such a proud ElfQuest mama. Thanks for your amazing questions, guys and gals. If you'd like to get a shout-out in my next video, or if you have a suggestion for me or my channel, go ahead and leave that down in the comment section below, and I'll see what I can do. The next showcased item, as mentioned earlier in my video, will be Art Portfolio Number 2, also known as a Gallery of Portraits. So, if you have any questions or comments about this baby, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below, and I'll see what I can do about answering them in the next video. Also, if there's an ElfQuest collectible that you would like to know more about and see showcased in my videos, go ahead and leave that down in the comment section below, and I'll see what I can do about adding it to my list. Okay, have you all been patiently waiting for me to talk about a giveaway? Yes? Okay, here we go, guys. Okay, so, a little bit of a story before I tell you what the prize is. Every time I go into my comic shop, first of all, it's an hour and a half drive just to get to my local comic shop, because I live in the middle of the woods. Perfect place for an ElfQuest fan, makes it really hard to get my comics. But in any case, the comic book shop owner is very nice and knows how much I love ElfQuest. But somehow he must have thought I missed out on the previous issue, because when I went to pick up the newest issue, he had slipped not only three copies of the new issue, but also three copies of the previous issue into my pull box, and I didn't realize it until I already purchased them and walked home. Well, I didn't walk home, I dro drove home. But in any case, I didn't realize that they were in my bag until we got home, and as I said, with it being an hour and a half drive just to get to my comic shop, I wasn't going to make my family go back just to take those comics back. I already get three copies of the issues whenever I go into the comic shops. I get one for myself, one for my soul sister Ravienne over in England, and one for my buddy Glenn. So therefore, I do get three issues, but I had already gotten these three issues, and now I have three more. So I have a total of six. So I have three copies of Final Quest number 16 that need to go to New Forever Homes. If you would like your chance to win a copy of this, go ahead and make sure you've subscribed to my channel and comment down below. I will be accepting entries for one week after I upload this video. 
once that week is over, I will take all the names of people who have said, hey, I want to be in your giveaway, and I will stick them in a hat, or I'll stick them in an online randomization program, and I will pull three names in my next video, and those three people will need to contact me, either through email, Twitter, or Facebook, to let me know of their mailing address, and I will send you your own copy of Final Quest number 16, free of charge. These copies are not sanctioned by anybody or anything. My husband and I spent our own money goofily on these issues. So I'm going to pass the love on and give them to you guys. All right. So remember, if you'd like your chance to win one of these copies, go ahead and make sure you subscribe and make sure you comment. And in the next video, I'll pull three names. Good luck. Please join me and the rest of the tribe in the many ElfQuest-based fan groups around Facebook, including the official group named ElfQuest with a capital Q, not the lower Q, that's unofficial, as well as the ElfQuest Collectors Unite group on Facebook, of which I am the administrator for. I'll add links to those groups down in the description below for anybody interested in joining us. Don't forget to get your questions or your suggestions down in the comment section below for the next episode's Q&A session, or on Facebook in one of the many ElfQuest-based fan groups. You can also find me on Twitter under the name ElfQuestNerd. Thanks so much for watching, folks. If you enjoyed my video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button right here, the like button down there, and maybe give a couple of these videos a view as well. Until next time, shade and sweet water, and happy hunting!